Unreal Engine recently posted a demo to their latest version, Unreal Engine 5. The feature set includes real-time global illuminated lighting, support for millions and even billions of polygons in real time, particles that react, and characters that react to environments. So does Blender even stand a chance against Unreal Engine 5 to make very cool looking animated videos? My answer is probably yes, but Blender may take a while to catch up. The development for Unreal Engine is growing at a rapid pace, but so is Blender. So which one should you pick if you wanted to create amazing animated videos? Let's start off first with photorealism. Blender's EV can sort of do global illumination, but there's a lot of faking. EV uses rasterization for rendering, an old method for rendering based on tweaking the color of pixels. It helps keep it running super fast, but there is a lot of faking when it comes to global illumination. Unreal Engine 5's global illumination, on the other hand, uses a technology which they call Lumen, but I don't really know how they get it to run in real time. Surely it can't be path traced, which is the technology that Cycles uses, a technology that fires light rays and calculates light bounces similar to the real world, and thus being a little slower. There's also a lot of setup that needs to be done with Eevee if you want to create something that looks realistic. So for me, points go to Unreal Engine 5. Next up, the viewport. Blender can handle a huge number of polygons, but a lot of that would have to be hidden in the viewport. When I create scenes that has millions of polygons in Blender, more often than not, I would disable visibility of objects or modifiers in the viewport just so that it doesn't freeze or suddenly crash up on me. Unreal Engine 5 seems to be able to handle billions of polygons based on the demo without the need to use normal maps. But I, I really don't think it will be the end of normal maps. I mean, there's no way that we, can we animate characters with billions of polygons in real time in the viewport. What I think Unreal Engine does is that it reduces the poly count in real time so that it stays performant, but still, I just don't know. I, I really don't think characters, especially those that have very fine detail down to the pore, would be easy to animate. I think it'll be really, really tedious. However, based on the amount of detail that we can see in real time from the Unreal Engine 5 viewport, especially of those cliffs, I think that looks amazing and I don't think Blender is even like close to achieving something like this. So the point hands down has to go to Unreal Engine 5. In terms of particles that react, this is something that Blender can do. One could simply search for Blender bird flying tutorial and find out how to do this in 5 minutes using something called Boids. Blender is also introducing particle nodes for even more advanced craziness. Personally, I would love to see a good crowd simulator for Blender, and from what I've seen, Unreal Engine can do crowd simulations a little better than Blender. Nevertheless, I'm going to say Blender on this one, because you can do a whole lot more with particles in Blender than you can do with Unreal Engine. In Unreal Engine 5, they mention that characters can react to the environment, whether it's foot placement on a large cliff, reacting to dangerous things like birds, and also little things like placing hands on a slightly open door. At this point in time, Blender can't do that. However, I don't really see it being too difficult to create some kind of script or a plugin to do this, or just hire someone to build it for you. In general, character animation with Unreal Engine is a bit of a hassle to set up. In Blender, if you want to animate your character, you simply just select the character rig, go into pose mode, and start animating away. But with Unreal Engine, there's just so many screens and buttons you have to click and things that you have to import. In my opinion, it's not really that user friendly, but I can see it having some benefits for game development. But when it comes to creating videos, I would have to say hands down Blender wins. So in the end, we have a tie. So if you want to make animated videos, you can go with either Blender or Unreal Engine, even with the new features from Unreal Engine 5. Or you can experience the best of both worlds and start with Blender and also integrate Unreal Engine into the pipeline as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and check out these videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.